Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Miss Rafa. Today we're going to complete with Unit 4, Nuclear Power. We're going to focus on the listening and the speaking skill. So if you're ready, let's practice together. Listening and speaking, page 42, student book. We can say student in British or student in American. Both are correct. Question A. Before you listen, discuss these questions. Is nuclear energy safe? What are the most major applications of nuclear energy in our daily life? Do you agree to the idea nuclear energy is our future? Why or why not? Question B. Listen to an extract about nuclear energy in Japan. Choose the right date for which event. Japan is very poor in natural resources, relying on imports for approximately 80% of its primary energy requirements. In particular, nearly 90% of crude oil is supplied from the Middle East. Since the oil crisis of 1973 and 1979, Japan has diversified energy sources by introducing nuclear energy, as well as liquefied natural gas and coal. As a result, about 30% of electricity in Japan comes from nuclear power and dependence on oil as a primary energy. Its first commercial nuclear power reactor began operating in mid-1966 and a nuclear energy has been a national strategic priority since 1973. Up until 2011, Japan was generating some 30% of electricity from its reactors and this was expected to increase to at least 40% by 2017. The plan is now for at least 20% by 2030 from non-renewable resources. The first reactors restarted in August and October 2015, with a further seven having restarted since. 18 reactors are currently in the process for restart approval. The first world oil crisis took place in nineteen seventy three. The first time Japan used a nuclear power reactor was in mid nineteen sixty six. Japan's dependence on nuclear reactors to generate electricity increased to 40% in 2017. Question C. Listen again and decide whether the statements below are true or false. Duban is very rich in natural resources. False. Duban imports about 18% of its primary energy requirements. False. The Middle East exports nearly 90% of Duban's needs of crude oil. True. Japan began to use nuclear energy before the world's oil crisis. 
false. About 60% of electricity in Japan comes from nuclear energy. False. Japan is planning now to reduce its dependence on non-renewable resources. True. In recent years, nuclear reactors have decreased in number. False. Now let's move on to speaking. Work with a partner. One of you look at roll code A and the other at roll code B. Roll card A. Your partner is a member of a scientific club. You think you would like to join, but want more information. Ask your partner questions to find out as much as you can. Some things to find out are Number of members Membership cost Joining procedures, frequency of meetings, location of meetings, activities of the club. Roll card B. You're a local member of scientific club. A friend of you would like to join. Answer his or her questions about the club using the information below. Number of members Most local groups 150 Nationally 3000 Membership 10,000 Syrian pound a year 150,000 Syrian pound a year for a couple. 5,000 Syrian pound a year for a student. Joining. Application form from the office. Meetings. Once a month at the main office. Activities Collecting and discussing new information about energy Awareness raising Fundraising Exchange roles Now let's move on to the activity book, page 35 Question A. Listen to text about wind energy and find out the answers to these questions. Is there an energy problem? Some people think so. Using oil is bad because it makes dirty air. In addition, there might not be much oil in 30 years. One possible answer is energy from wind. How does wind power work? Special machines that change wind into electricity. They are called wind turbines. These big, heavy machines can weigh 300 tons and stand 130 meters. Sometimes you can see a large group of turbines in, in the countryside or near the sea. That is called a wind farm. Many wind turbines have three long sticks called blades. When the wind moves, the blades turn. When the blades turn, they move a special stick called a shaft. The shaft turns a generator which makes electricity. One large turbine can produce enough power for about 300 homes for a year. That number depends on the size of turbine and amount of wind. Not everyone thinks wind turbines are good. 
Turpines make a lot of sound and kill a lot of birds. They also cost a lot of money. One big turpine cost about four million dollars. Wind turbines don't save money. Often, people in a city with a wind farm pay more for electricity, not less. Is there any energy problem? Yes, there is. What kind of energy causes pollution? Using oil causes pollution. How does wind power work? When the wind moves, the blades turn. When blades turn, they move a special stick called a shaft. The shaft turns a generator, which makes electricity. Question B. Listen again and decide if the following sentences are true or false. Wind power can be changed into electricity. True. The machines are heavy and tall. True. A wind farm has trees and plants. False. The blades move even if there is no wind. False. The quantity of power depends on the size of the turbine and the amount of wind. True. Wind turbines are completely clean and safe energy. True. Now let's move on to speaking. What do you think of the statement? Our children will inherit the consequences of our bad use of the Earth's resources. Discuss these points. What are the Earth's resources? What is this generation doing with the Earth's resources? What will result from the consumption of fossil fuels, coal, and all this? How is a global warming taking place? Will our children inherit the consequences if the resources run out? That's everything for today. Thanks for your time. See you next lesson.